apparently is Britain's most inclinous route, meaning that it uh, it climbs the highest of any road in Britain. And uh, it's got some pretty, pretty scary hairpins apparently. Let's see how she goes. So 88 feet above sea level at the start of it. Well, at least uh, Alpine passes, you've got two carriageways. <laughs> this one's just single track, just to add to it. Okay, you're definitely the climb now. It's barely a road at all, it's more like a flipping footpath. You don't want to bring a coach up here. Elevation 303 feet, gosh, that car didn't make it, not a good omen. Well, this is uh, definitely not for the faint-hearted. Once again, you fall foul of the GoPro's uh, wide-angle lens, so you don't really get an impression of what this is like, but uh, I'm not exaggerating to say I am cacking myself up here. Trying desperately not to look over that edge. looking out for oncoming vehicles. This one. And that edge was something else down there. We want to do this in the dark. Alright now I know there's a car coming in a minute. There he is. away with that one. If you knew there was definitely nothing going to come the other way, it'd be an absolute blast. And it's okay when you've got a bit of visibility like this and I can see that there's a car half a mile or so away coming in my direction so I can be ready for it. Okay, so we're doing on height. 914, so we've got another over a thousand feet to climb yet. Yeah? Here. I think I might wait for this one. Come on, mate. No problem. Desperately trying to not look down that edge. Can't help but notice there's no barriers. Look at this place. Glad to see they've seen fit to put a barrier here now. I don't want to drive a coach load of tourists up here. Is he going to wait there? Please do, thank you. Thank you, just about, mate. A bit earlier would have been good. That was a classic example of a car thinking I could do something that I couldn't, because there's no way we were getting past each other other than on a passing place. And I just couldn't stop there, I'd have been off. Right, let's hope he slows down. There he is. Come on. I think with this, it's not so much the, uh, the height of the thing, it's the fact that the road is so narrow. And it is only, you know, one car width going to happen, so... I'm glad I'm coming up here on a relatively quiet day. I dread to think what it's like in the height of summer when it's full of tourists and they all want to do the Balakna Bar. It'd be an absolute nightmare. Worst sort, big hairpin and steep. First gear. Nasty. Wowee. More hairpins to come. This sort of place that would be amazing to take a photograph back because it's an incredible view behind me but I'm blowed if I'm stopping on these hairpins. Okay, there's an oncoming car there. Can't get 
around this next hairpin before he comes. Wow, look at it down there. Okay, we're at 1800 feet now. What a view. First gear again. Can't see him. Wait for him. nice to not meet any other cars coming down here. There's one there. What's he going to do? Wait for me, wait, wait for me. Please wait for me. And not on the hairpin. Uh, okay, we'll pass at the hairpin then. Unbelievable. the worst of it, 1900 feet. Let's just stop here on this level bit. Have a look back. Wow. <laughs> I have to say, that's a road I don't care if I never do again. That was just hard work. Getting cold up here, nearly at 2000 feet, five degrees now. Incredible how the temperature's dropped. 2,040 feet a touch there. 2,034. We're climbing. 2,043, 247. 2,053 feet. 257. 2,060, 2,061. Okay, I think I'm going to start to descend now. 2,064 feet. Thank you, sir. A handy pass. There we go. Look, 2,071. I think it was 2071 we topped out at. Are we still climbing? Yeah, that was the that was the peak. <laughs> so that's Balach Nabar. Definitely not for the faint-hearted. Can't believe how difficult those hairpins were to get round at slow speed on a heavily laden bike with an incline, I could barely get around those. I was being a bit of a girl's blouse, but uh, obviously I didn't want to drop the bike. I'm feeling like I'm on the homeward stretch now. I hope I'm not, uh, not about to come across something cataclysmic on the other side. We're in the descent. Oh, it's got to three and a half degrees now. Flipping chilly up here. So one of the passes in this country that I'm yet to do, that I want to do, is in the Lake District called the Hard Knot Pass. I haven't done that one yet, but uh, I wonder how that compares. I will do that in the not too distant future, for comparison purposes. It can't be any worse than this, surely. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, it's looking good. Maybe a few more hairpins to go. Yeah, here's one. Nothing coming. It seems much easier going down them for some reason than going up. Well, it's been a long old day in the saddle again. Been on the bike for another seven hours. And this has been uh, obviously quite complicated riding. I have to say my shoulders are telling me that they've had enough today. I guess it's on these passes, it's because you tense up. So as soon as I get to my base, I imagine it's going to be another hour and a half yet before I get there. So that was the awesome and somewhat scary Balaknabar. Good to say I've done it. won't be hurrying back. It's more of a challenge really than fun. Splendid, well we're nearly home and dry on this. Apple Cross is just three miles away now apparently. So there we are, that's the reward you get at the end of the Lachna Bar. The 
view into Applecross. Well, that was quite a ride. And uh, if you ever get the chance to do it, see it as a bit of a challenge, give it a go. Hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Till then, this has been the Listen and Fly. Cheerio.